little boy. Give me a second, you guys. Oh, shit. Alright. Bring the mic over. Right there. Alright. Okay. I'm so sorry. I know I've been gone, but if you saw my post, you already know that I'm not doing this regularly. I will every now and then. Just look out for my videos. That's all I had to say. Excuse my mess, everybody. I just got out of the shower and I just realized Valentine's Day just passed, okay? I don't give a fuck about Valentine's Day. I wish it didn't exist. But when I have a partner, I do get them things. I do take them out only so that she won't feel like she's the only one that didn't get anything. <laughs> but other than that, it's a Hallmark holiday, y'all. But there is a video that Amanda and Shannon came out with. It is titled 21 Questions, Valentine's Day Edition. And you know, these beautiful women, I want to know what kind of Valentine's they had. Are y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. So, from my understanding, Hi they live guys. in Miami. What's up, you guys? What's Welcome up, back ladies? To our channel. Happy Valentine's Day! Yes. Happy Valentine's Day, ladies. And what's up with these outfits? These are outfits that I'm pretty sure you really don't go anywhere with. <laughs> so, I'm guessing they had a photo shoot. I'm guessing. Uh, what is it? Or they went to an award Happy show or something. Love Happy yeah. Love Day. Every day is Love Day, though. Yes. Right? Every day is Valentine's Day. Yes. Every Boobies. Girl, boobies. I forgot who's who. Who's Amanda? Who's Shannon? I already forgot, y'all. It's Valentine's Day for us. Period. You know, we love a good Valentine's Day, child. Can we get a shout out for these outfits? Yes. Okay, so mine is like a headpiece goes all the way down to the floor. Like you the Virgin I'm Mary. Have a little bit of Leah, child. But you ain't no virgin. I understand that. Beautiful body, girl. How old are these women, by the way? Aren't they like in their early 30s or something? Late 20s, maybe? Well, I'm gonna take this off right now and just get my. No, I like it. Was I getting, love your hair. Red Rider <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. I love it, but I, but when I'm sitting down, it's like Little Miss Riding Hood, but you know. You're right, you're right. And then we got a little Cardi B kind of dress. <laughs> she do be looking like Cardi B. Okay, girl. Hips. Look at them hips. Booty. <laughs> a woman's body is beautiful. Nobody loves me like you do. Nobody gonna love me like you do. Can't even deny. All right, all right. Every time I try, <laughs> one look at my put the video in. Like like body to body. Okay, okay, Skin ladies. We get it. We get it. <laughs> Love day. Happy love happy day, love day, you guys. They look you. so happy. I love you too. Oh, I love you, y'all. Today is gonna be jam. Hey, when when it's a two femme relationship, they both got the lipstick on. Give little kisses. But you know, when it comes to a stud and femme relationship, and usually the studs don't wear any type of lipstick other than chapstick. I'll give you a kiss, but I'll go like that right after. Sorry. We are doing Valentine's Day 21 questions. Let's I'm making a love edition. Ooh. A love edition. Oh, yes. Okay, so <laughs> I wonder what y'all got. Girl, you just turned her on. You better stop what, it. What's your favorite R&B love song? Um, I like, I like Genuine. Genuine? Yeah. What Pony. Song? Okay. Um, or in them jeans. You know what I like? I like Turn the Lights Down Low by Mary J. Blige. Huh? What? <laughs> By but, Lauren Hill and Bob Marley. Marley. Why'd you ask me that? I don't know. It's just like, uh, first of all, I think that Valentine's Day is very much a lot of people are going to be bumping and grinding. Mm -hmm. and bumping and the R&B, baby. So you're going to have to have a good playlist to give to the Fab Life gang or at least an artist so that they know what are the tracks. And turn your lights down. Hello. <laughs> That's it. What's That's all you know. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I'm waiting for her to finish. My favorite genre is R&B, but I'm talking about the 90s R&B, okay? That was the real love-making music, the adulting music. The R&B nowadays is, is still good. 
It's just not as romantic as it used to be. You know what I'm saying? I need that grown folks music. Yeah. Oh my God, wait, hold on. Okay, so yeah. my favorite song. So I heard, heard they're Jamaican. Both of them are. That's from what I heard from the comments. Is, uh, if that's not true, please um, correct me in the comments again. <laughs> just what I heard. Cupid. That doesn't mm. mean that 112, I, I love don't that song. Care. Ooh. I tell you I need you oh, Don't you think, think that, that I will never be there, there. Ooh, are, you, are you dumb? I'm not gonna put the beat on there Right, let me, let me, let, 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 let's get into this What's the one thing you learned about yourself through your partner? Um that I had the ability to be faithful. Girl, <laughs> hey, sometimes oh, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, real um, one thing that I learned from you is the fact that I, I that love truth. Stop playing. You know you meant that. Okay, this one is Amanda, right? Okay, Amanda, come on. You answered that so quickly without hesitation. That was your true answer. And that's okay. That's okay, though. If it gave you the ability to be faithful without the temptation of cheating, this is the right one for you. You get what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't believe in once a cheater, always a cheater. Because I do believe people make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes they're with the wrong person. But once a serial cheater cheats, then definitely always a cheater. But come on, girl. Let's be honest. It exists. Like, mm -hmm. real love truly exists. Mm -hmm. So one thing I learned, another thing I learned is patience. Um, Patience. Another thing about marriage that people don't realize is that you're not ready to be married unless you're willing to say I'm sorry for things that you don't even like understand. Right. You know what I mean. Communication. Right. And, 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 and put your, your ego. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That selfless. pride will right. kill like, you. Right. Yeah. And your relationship. The one thing I learned in um, loving this gorgeous, beautiful woman is patience. I learned how to deal with my traumas and make sure that I don't place it on her and mm, learn that's a good to one. be the best woman that I can be for her. And if that has to do with me not cheating, being the best woman, being patient, being more loving, that's what I learned in this marriage and relationship. It's very that. interesting that infidelity was a part of both answers that is not even a question in mine like i just naturally am a monogamous person there's not an inch of me that would want to cheat on my partners it's just not it's just not in me so that's easy for me my flaws in relationships would have to be my pride um although over the years i've gotten so much better so much better with it but i still pride does get in the way sometimes and my communication skills can be better. I still need to work on that. I, like, I know I speak well on camera, but you guys, it's just me in the room and just talking to you guys and I can't see y'all. <laughs> so it's easy for me to communicate. But with my partners, it's hard to actually put my pride down when I'm hurt and be vulnerable to express my feelings. It's been easier as, as I've gotten older, but I, need to, I still need to work. I love you, answer. I, I am ready you. for a relationship, y'all. Thank you, babe. And you're so beautiful. It's given the body. I can't wait to take off this dress later. I'm gonna take it off for you. Ooh, you gonna take it off now? Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. Now. You can tell that they have some good sex. You, just the way that they look at each other, you can tell. It's like they do I'm some freaky shit. <laughs> Next question. Um, wait, for sure. I have a question for you. What was your favorite Valentine's Day with me? Everyone. No, no. Um, I the, mm, the first one? The first one? Yeah, what happened first in that first one? one? Pretty epic. Oh, there we go. What you do to me between me and you? Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Can't be replaced. Choose me like you do. That's why I don't mind. I spend my life with you. That is so beautiful. Oh my God. They got money, y'all. Even if you don't, all, they got a, a whole personal chef and, and is she a stud? I love that, yo. The fuck? The food. 
Oh my god, the gifts. How romantic. Yeah. You want to know why? Because I feel like every... Hold on. I uh, Listen. You don't have to have money to do something romantic like that. You can do a lot of things DIYs. But the extra money does help. That is just... Oof. The first one was the best one for me because it was my first Valentine's Day with you. Aww. And before, I, I think that's why you went all out. Well, you always go all out. Period. Right. I think that's why you really went all out because I, I never really experienced a good Valentine's yes. Day. Yes. So for me to walk into that, I was like. That's thoughtful. It was just mind blowing. And right. It's something that that's cute. Is, I can never forget. Right. And along with the other ones, but that was the first one. The first one was lit. Right. Yeah, the first one, I loved the first one because all of her cousins, like Marky, everybody was like, nobody to do this for her yet. Nobody to do it. She never have a Valentine's Day yet like this. While I'm calling them, I'm calling them and I'm asking them, like, what should I do for Valentine's Day? And everyone's like, you're going to get a chef. You're going to get this. Like, it just made me even do it even more because I'm like, how hasn't someone not done it for this queen? Like, are they dumb? Are they, are dumb? they crazy? Like, <laughs> I'm a queen too. Like, I'm waiting for that moment. That's my wife loves me. Look how she loves me good. Somebody just, hire me yeah, a chef, please. I, I have to make sure that I go out for my queen and I'm glad that you like it. I'm glad that the first one was all that and more. And it was bomb. The chef, first of all, the chefs with the crab legs and the, it was, you know, I'm not, I wasn't even thinking about the food. I was thinking about getting this, uh, this having this a whole nother up. meal. <laughs> having a whole nother meal, okay? <laughs> my, that was amazing. My favorite Valentine's Day was the bowl. God damn, y'all. Y'all be going <laughs> all <laughs> out. Oh, uh, so oh my gosh. <laughs> damn. No, you really outdid yourself. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Love you. Let's go. Let's get the party yet? started. Are we gonna party? Yes. More tequila. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I really don't know who's who. I forgot who's Amanda, who's Shannon. I yeah. felt like. But even though it was. But this one here. She is the romantic in the relationship, and I believe that she's the one with the masculine energy. It looks like she takes more of the lead and the control of the relationship in a good way, not in a bad way. So, okay, girl. Oh, I gotta write some notes. But, and then we got matching tattoos after. I mean, matching, we not matching, yes. but we got each other's yes. names after. Oh, uh, y'all tag each other's show. names? Don't do that. <laughs> Everybody, don't do that. We'll put it up there. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh, my God. Okay, so this one here is Amanda. That's Shannon. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. But you guys, don't do that. Please, don't get each other's names tatted on you. There's no reason for it. There just isn't. And it usually turns out bad at the end. I hope this works out for them, though. Go put the video of Amanda. Oh, my God. I felt like Amanda was drunk, and Amanda's like, let's go get her names tatted. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm lit. It's Valentine's Day. I'm feeling impulsive like a Gemini would. And I feel like I'm ready to do something crazy. But um, I'm going to see if... Oh, she's a Gemini. Bad gal is down. I feel like we should get each other's <laughs> names. I'm trying to be yes, branded. They're so bougie. Brand they going to the tattoo shop with some fur coats on, okay? And I don't know Little if she want to be branded. But I'm trying to be branded. You're really getting my name. Mm -hmm. This is love. This is one of the best Valentine's Day I've ever had. It's okay, it's okay. Relax, relax. The more you don't move, the more perfect it will be. <laughs> Person, I'm trying to have you be like Rashawn Rock. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> Girl, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to put it down more in the bed. No, a lot more yes. than that, girl. Yes, yes. <laughs> more than that. Give me some crab legs in bed and while you're doing it. Combination. Maybe we can talk and about And that means it. you gotta cheat also, because that's what Blueface does. Okay, you just continuously cheat. Then she might get your face tatted on her. Okay, let me see this. <laughs> crab legs and crab legs. Who's more emotional? Um, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> damn. Dude, I feel like it's. I feel like it's obvious. Who? Babe, stop, please. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop the cat. I may be more emotional with sharing my feelings, but you're emotionally crazy. 
It does. It does. It does make sense. When she means emotional, like maybe she she's just passionate in every emotion. She expresses every emotion that she feels. But from what she's saying is that her girl, very emotionally crazy, probably she's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, so which means if she's mad, she becomes psychotic and she starts throwing things. So if she's hurt, she starts bawling and crawling up like a little baby. <laughs> Like, it can make sense. Yes, you're like um, may, maybe it doesn't make sense in the textbook, but emotional it makes sense. crazy is what I could. Just uh, show myself. me what emotional crazy look like. Where it's like exaggerated you are a little so bit. So passionate in love with me that uh, like I can't <laughs> be out of Amanda's sight, or she's gonna call me in like ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Like you're you're emotional. No. Like, yes, because you're very emotional too when you call. Like when Amanda is on the phone, Amanda's like, huh. where Tristan at? Don't let me call just your TTS. This is crazy. We this have evidence. Let's see. Oh, you, you miss evidence? me? I'm coming home soon, baby. <laughs> okay, oh baby, I missed you. I'm gonna see you soon. Huh? Yeah, uh, babe, I didn't want to wake you up. <laughs> But hold on, the phone says wifey Amanda, so the other one's Amanda. <sighs> this is difficult. Can you guys find a way to make it easier for me to try to remember their names? Because I don't watch them enough to remember. Okay, can you guys come up with something to make my memory work? Comment below, give me an idea of how I can remember their names. You sent me a picture? Okay. Don't, don't go on my website. I'm calling you right back. Okay, babe. I won't go nowhere. Okay, bye. She's clingy. Like, She's clingy. Oh, babe, like very emotional. Oh, where are you? Dramatic. You. <laughs> Your photo shoot is taking too long. That's enough pictures. Come home now. That's me just like reminding you that I miss you. I'm not We're like... You're getting too emotional. But I, but that, that's just, You're emotionally attached to No, it's to like me. leaving a love note. It's not like I'm saying, babe, you need to come home now. Yeah, like, it's like, sound oh, in a sweet way. It. No, it's cute. It's like it's like your photo shoot, your photo shoot is over. This is be gone for two hours. Come back home. I miss you. That's how, that's how it is. It's like I, I got rid. I wish it wasn't me? that voice. So I put that like you know I put that steez on it. You feel I me? wish it wasn't that voice. But you know me, I really be chilling. You know. I wish it wasn't that voice. Oh. Get it? Get when did you Get feel it? Deeply in love. Get and it? Connected to me. When okay, when what? you got the heart behind your ears from my mom i'm maybe like oh like, that is so sweet <laughs> you got this because her mom passed away that is so sweet to do for your partner like oh i love that that was that's i love that because i remember you always talk about that right can you give me um another one when we were like deeper in because i was like in the first few weeks that's pretty normal for a lesbian couple. Ah! <laughs> it's pretty normal, but like a little more um, deeper. Yeah, when we're more long term in our relationship. Um, when you sent flowers to my mom's grave. It's again about so her mom, like, though. That was, that was a couple months in. A yeah, couple of months her. in, and I was in Toronto, and um, she was like. But you know what, though, at the same time, even though they both included her mom, her mom obviously meant a lot to her. And for her partner to show her how understanding of the relationship they had, that she would go this far to do these things for her. So, I mean, I guess that, that is course, what I'm it crying, is. Of course, crying, just basically saying, like, you know, like, it's my mom's anniversary. And then um, my sister gave me a call and said that she's seen flowers because my sister went to the grave before me. And she's like, she's seen flowers um, on the grave. Um, and it said, Amanda. So Amanda found where my mom is, was laid and sent flowers in a cemetery. Like, could you imagine? This cemetery has like over 50,000 people. And she found the grave and ended up sending flowers all the way from LA. And that's when oh, I knew my that goodness, this that's was so sweet. my wife or she was meant for me because I don't think like no one, I don't want to get emotional, but um, oh. that was just like a big 
deal for me, and especially you found her grave. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <sighs> she found her grave. I love that. Ugh. I love love, y'all. I love love. I know you guys see me on here criticizing <laughs> all these relationships on YouTube. It's because a lot of them are toxic. You get what I'm saying? This is beautiful. This is a beautiful grown love. Um, I don't know if they're going to be together forever, but it doesn't matter. Like, this is, they're, you can tell that they're truly in love with each other. I love you. I love you. Oh, sh Shade. Hold you tight to me, to me. <laughs> my mom and my dad used to dance to Sade. Um, and yeah, and I picked that as our wedding song. And uh, that was the most amazing. We picked it. We picked it. Right, yes. you gotta say yes, we, girl. <laughs> I, I, what's like your favorite, favorite <laughs> moment or favorite trip? Yes. Let's do the favorite trip and our favorite moment. Um, favorite trip, ooh, favorite trip. Ooh, ooh, I, mm. I wanna say, Ghana. Ghana. But then I also want to say our first trip to Jamaica. But no, f that. Mexico was the best. Mexico, Mexico was okay. the best. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying, us Mexicans. <laughs> Y'all are crazy, so <laughs> y'all be turning a lot of uh, straight men on. And other lesbians too. Look at these girls. <laughs> they do too much, yeah. Y'all gotta be careful in Mexico sometimes. The cartel are crazy. They see you guys like that, looking glamorous and... You look like you got money. So they will kidnap your asses. And then hold you for ransom until your family starts sending them money. Yeah. Mexico was lit. My favorite trip with us was um, Ghana. We'll show you guys clips. They're very affectionate. I'm guessing that's their love languages. That's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Ready, baby? Oh, my God, Oh, hell no. Amanda, please. I don't Bruh. fuck with the water. I do not fuck with the water. Because of that. Because of the creatures. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Let's touch base with our wedding. Hi, Shannon. Give you Amanda. Give you Amanda. This ring. This ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And devotion to you. And devotion to you. As your wife. As your wife. I always stand by this. Oh my god, so beautiful. Wow, so pretty. Oh, so it was a small married, wedding. So I couldn't, she, she obviously didn't come. It was more intimate. But my family, having your family there to right. celebrate our union. Right. And then just most importantly, Makai. Yeah. He was crying. He was so happy. And yeah, he was he just, we might, that's my everything. Yeah. Oh, her son. My, my favorite part. So my wedding was, uh, I believe it was 150 guests. 
I would never do that shit again. Okay, it was a beautiful wedding, but if I ever marry again in life, it's only going to be my partner and I. Okay, we're going to do it somewhere, romantic still, but it's just going to be her and I. Fuck the show. Fuck pleasing everybody else. I ain't working my ass off for two years for one day when all that really matters is the love between me and my partner. So that's it for me. No more big wedding for me. Uh, yeah, my, uh, they had a picture frame of my mom on the chair. I think that was a highlight. Uh, yeah, I definitely wanted my mom to see me get married and that was just like amazing moment. Sure I got that. Yes, I and sure Amanda I got, got my mom's picture and they placed it on a chair and I think mm. just seeing her face just yeah. smiling and in the picture she's smiling, it made my whole life because the whole right. time when she passed away, I said she's never gonna see me get married. At my ceremony, we had my ex-wife's brother. Um, we had his picture up because he passed away, and my cousin and my best friend's pictures because they also passed away. So it was still good to have them there. <laughs> Same. She's really having a hard oh, time with her mom's <laughs> passing. Don't let me start crying. It's, 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 it's a happy love day. I love you. I, lo I love you more. I love you. I love you. <laughs> You're amazing. Love and, I'm happy. and happy valentine's day to everyone <laughs> late valentine's day to everybody uh and that's it for today's video see y'all in the next one peace